Arizona's largest energy provider is taking a high tech approach to maintain our power grid. Drones and robots work alongside our very own power crews. And 12 News journalist Jen Wall is joining us live this morning from Phoenix to show us how all of this works. Good morning, Jen. Yeah, good morning to you both. You know, we're talking about power a lot this morning, especially as we get into those really hot summer months and keeping everything running so we can stay cool and have light is really probably the last thing on our minds when we're running around from the busy day to day. But joining me live this morning is Scott Alford. He's with APS and you guys are going high tech. You've been high tech for years and there's actually some equipment up in the air right now that you use to monitor the power grid. So tell me about it. So we're, we're currently using drones and robotic equipment to monitor the lines. Uh, the the drone, drones that we use, they, they use infrared technology, thermal technology. They use high definition visual technology. And the, and the goal is to identify defects before they fail and give the maintenance folks a good opportunity to repair them before they fail. And it, it makes better reliability for the comfort of the customers. It also increases the safety for the workers in the field. That is awesome. So we have a drone up in the air right now. And if this was a real life scenario, what might this drone be doing with these power lines here? So he's got a super high definition camera on, on board and a thermal camera. So he can find hot spots where you would have a defect that we could identify and, and fix. And then they can also determine a whole bunch of cracked insulators or frayed lines or any kind of problem that might exist on that on that power line. And it allows us to write a, a work order and dispatch the workers to the field and have it repaired before it fails. And that really is the goal is to try to, to eliminate unexpected failures to our customers. And that's so important, especially when we get into the dangerous heat that we know is just weeks away, really. Okay, so now we're going to turn our attention to the ground. And there's different technology that you're using here, kind of for the same goal, but for a different reason. It is. This is this is Spot, the, the robot dog. And then we don't have a name for the other little track robot, <laughs> but both of them are, are designed to allow us to do inspections in places that aren't necessarily as safe for, for the people. Uh, we work in a lot of network vaults and confined spaces, and it allows us to do the inspections on those without putting our people in, in those areas, which is a, a really good thing. It also helps us to do all the other reliability work to ensure that that we can identify defects and get it fixed and eliminated. And also important, before I send it back to the studio quickly here, I'm watching this dog and it almost looks real the way it's walking around. How did you get that sort of makeup for this object? So we, we, we worked with the manufacturer and they, it is a product line that they have. So, so they worked with us to customize it for the utility space. It does also have the thermal cameras and, and they've, They've been good partners for us, and it, it allows us to go do good work. And, and, uh, and it, there's a lot of training involved in running this equipment, so they've worked well with us to get that employed also. All right. Thank you, Scott. Fascinating information. Can't wait to see what technology is out here in the next 10 years. Guys, we're talking about keeping you all safe this summer as temperatures rise, dealing with wildfires and monsoon. And we're going to send it back to the studio now. All right. Keeping us safe, but giving me nightmares at the same time. We cannot stop talking about this robot.